All right, here goes a brief overview of the fundamental theorem of calculus, part one. Imagine f of t is some continuous function defined on the closed interval a comma b, meaning our variable t can be anything between the numbers a and b, including a and b. Let's make x some other number in this range as well. Now imagine the integral with lower limit a and upper limit x, f of t dt. This represents the area between the curve of f of t, the t axis, t equals a and t equals x. Now let's make this a function, capital F of x. Its variable is x, so we pick the upper limit of integration, and the output is the area under the curve from a to that number. What's the derivative of this function? How does the area under the curve change as we shift x over ever so slightly? Using the limit definition of a derivative, we find that it's equal to this, the height of the curve at t equals x, wherever that is, which is just f of x. Therefore, the derivative capital F prime of x is equal to f of x, making capital F of x the antiderivative of f of x. So cool.